Hey, it's Joe Tavaro from PumpRepairMedia.com. All right, welcome back. We're here with B Ryan. What's up, man? What's up? All right, welcome back to the Pentar LA1N Booster Pump Repair Series. We're like part 14 or 15, something like that. Uh, we've already taken apart the whole motor, just assembled everything. Uh, and we've changed the bearings, and now we're at the part where we're putting into the armature back into the shaft. Now, what we want to talk about in this video is a couple things people always ask us in this, about the rear end bell. All right, so there you can see Brian has the rear end bell separated from the back of the motor right there. Uh, and what you can see there is there's also a wavy washer. People all the time ask about us about this wavy washer. In fact, somebody else actually just called us uh, a few minutes ago about this wavy washer. And you can see it's wavy, turn it to the side so they can see it too, and it's bent. That is supposed to be like that, okay? So that goes in the rear end. I'll show them where that, that goes right there. Okay, now let me just show you something real quick. Move your hand for one second. Uh, right there, point to that black thing. See that black thing with the yellow and blue wires there? Right, that, that is called your thermal overload. So if your motor is, if you have an older one of these, and your motor is heating up, and it's only running for a few minutes and then shutting off, that could be bad right there, the thermal overload. The other thing on the other side is also called your terminal board. Now, Brian has that wavy washer. Go ahead, and he's going to show you where to install it. We're going to install it right inside that rear end bell right there. Now, there's also a flat washer in there too, right, Brian? Yes. There you go. There's also a flat washer. Go ahead, put that back in there. There you go. There's a flat washer in there. Now, go put the wavy washer in there as well. All right, there you go. Nice HD video. There you go. Now, you put the wavy washer right in there like that. There you go. See that? Nice job, bro. All right, now once he's got that wavy washer in there, we're just going to back up here now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put the rear end belt on. Not yet, though, but first we're going to spin around that motor shaft, the motor shaft housing. Now, if you have not removed your rear end belt like we have here, you should totally remove the rear end belt and watch for that wavy washer, right? Because sometimes, Brian, that rear wavy washer gets stuck inside the motor and mm -hmm. you don't, you don't want to have it there. Okay, so there you go. Now what we have done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you what you want to do now is take the front armature shaft, right? And we're going to slide that into the motor armature. Now, listen, be careful when you do this, people. You don't want to go crazy and you don't want to just, you don't want to damage the motor wind. You just want to go in there nice and slow. Just how Brian's doing, go ahead all the way and slow. Now, we marked our motor earlier. If you've seen our videos, you can see there's a little mark right there. We've marked our motor so we can know exactly where it lines up. Okay, if you haven't, and you're like, oh my God, and watch other videos, you can also line up at the stickers. See how Brian's lining up? You can also line up the stickers. Okay, just like that. Okay, bam. Now, what you want to do now is we're gonna, he's going to spin around the motor the other way, and he's going to carefully, watch, let me show you. He's going to carefully put this on there. And so, you know, okay, there, that's cool. Put your pinky through it there so you don't lose the washer. And then what he's going to do now is just put the back of this motor back together. Okay, go ahead, man. People ask us all the time for this close-up. There we go. All right, so once you get it on like that, he's just going to give it like you know, a little, just a jiffy jar or whatever you want to call it. Push it on there. Now, what you can do now is you can start lining up your through bolts, as Brian's going to show you one second. That's cool. Yep, just like that. Pop it together just like that. All right, there you go. Now, remember, the shaft is not going to turn free yet. Now, here we go. We'll show you this, and we'll come back in a second. We'll do a full video on it, but there you go. That is the, see those holes right there? If you remember from the beginning of the videos, that, right, those are the through ball holes. There are four of these holes. You can see there. Let me show you. Four holes right there. One, two, three, four. Okay, now, Brian, is what he's doing now is he's using his through bolts, right, Brian? Mm -hmm. And he's going to take the through bolt, and he's going to stick it all the way through the motor. Go ahead. Now, remember, you want to line these things up. You might have to wiggle them or something like that. Take your time and get them all the way through. All right, so when we come back now, we're going to show you uh, hold on. Now, show the go peg real quick. Turn around the motor the other way. Turn the motor around the other way. That way you can see yeah, the front. Let me see the front of the motor there. That way you see, okay, so the through bolts are lined up. We're going to tighten these through bolts. And when we come back, we're going to have the through bolts tight and the motor will be together. We'll also talk about how what other things about the through bolts, like how to tighten them properly, uh, how to align your motor, and how to check to make sure your shaft is spinning freely in the way it's supposed to. All right, so there you go. Brian is now going to put in all four through bolts. Just tighten them up. That's pretty self-explanatory. Put them back in. Line up your motor with the markings like I showed you in the beginning of the videos. If you didn't mark your motor or if maybe you've just watching this video series because you've seen it somewhere on the internet, uh, we have this whole entire video series from the beginning. Uh, all parts are available at PumpRepairMedia.com. Uh, and Brian is now putting in his three bolts and then he's going to tighten them up. Like I said, when we come back, we are going to show you uh, all the other good stuff on, on the video. All right, man? All right, so thanks for watching, Brian. Hey, take it easy, man. I'll let you get back to work. And say thanks for watching. Peace.